This is Barnstable Today for Monday, December 15th. Welcome aboard. I'm Mark Mumford. And keep in mind, all the meetings we cover here on Barnstable Today and many others can be found in their entirety at the town's website, town.barnstable.ma.us. The Charter Commission is building momentum. That's our main focus today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Friel. During their latest session in the town hall hearing room, they tackled term limits. Here's Charter Commission member Lucian Poyant, followed by Chair Richard Clark. Lucian, you got that look. The only thing is, the last time it didn't work out. There was interpretations, and, and p people served at different times. I, I just want to make sure that whatever we put in is hard and fast, that in other words, this is what it is, and it can't be interpreted in any other way than what is, it is written in the charter. I, I think that just to make sure everybody's on the same page, um, the reason we ran into it before was that the, the precincts were borderline for population. So every new census forced a restructuring of the number of council seats, which because they all had to be equal, forced every seat to be vacated for that election. So you suddenly ended up with two-year terms and four-year terms to take the staggered. First of all, we no longer have staggered. And second of all, we have added two new precincts without the same population growth we've got. So we're anticipating that we'll get through 2010 without a problem and probably 2020. So the earliest that it should come up would probably be 2030 unless, you know, the population goes through the roof. But I think of what we're talking about, which is you cannot run for the any council seat if elected to that seat you went beyond 12 years is pretty clear. In a six to one vote, the Charter Commission set a limit of 12 consecutive years in office for elected officials. Meanwhile, the Charter Commission also dealt with the issue of how to disseminate the document they come up with to the public. <laughs> see, I see all the stores that add stuffers to the newspaper. Can we publish this ourselves and walk into them and say, what does it cost to be a stuffer? Is that, why do we you need? You can do inserts. Yeah. And, yeah, and you just give them. I mean, as long as they, license. Steve, could you make sure that that's legal? Sure. Yeah, I think that's a good, good idea. I mean, yeah. we print it out, we walk over there and say, shove it in. When you say we print it out, what exactly do you mean? That someone we hire rather than the newspaper let, doing the printing. Before you do that, yeah. let me make sure that that meets the legal criteria. Well, that's, that's the only thing I'm worrying assumed. about. Yeah. Well, why wouldn't the, I, I don't know, why would the newspapers, why don't you give them one copy and let them copy it and stuff it? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, that's fine. Well, however, it gets stuffed, whatever the best. As long as it's in the newspaper of general circulation, yeah, what does right. it matter two, if it's a two, separate? <coughs> two, but it is clearly marked in, when one opens up the Barnstable Patriot, you look up at the top of the page and it says legal notices. Okay. And I want to make sure that this insert Say the same meets thing. the criteria of a legal notification. That's all. Yep. Okay. Can, can, let's just say that the town, that the charter commission chair will work to the best possible way of getting this done. You can access all the Charter Commission meetings on demand at the town's website. That's town.barnstable.ma.us. Meanwhile, everybody is in the holiday spirit over at the Barnstable Senior Center. On Friday, we caught up with Senior Services Director Madeline Taylor and a couple of her staff members, Rose DiGregorio and Susan Griffin, as final preparations were being made for the annual festive holiday meal. Some of the ambient noise in the background you hear was from the Victrola Society setting up to entertain at the Senior Center, and we'll have some of their music later in the week. And it's not just about the food and the company. We also have wonderful entertainment, uh, courtesy of the Victrola Society. Um, and a lot of people ask us, what do the Victrola Society do and who are they? They are a group that meet um, weekly here at the Senior Center to rehearse, and they do concerts all around the Cape. And uh, they do a couple of concerts here for us at the Senior Center throughout the year. And they um, basically just... They have a, pia a, a piano and voices, and that's the, it really it. And they're going to sing all the holiday festive favorites. So, and uh, we're hoping everybody will join along and sing in and get in the mood. And Rose usually does a little dance. <laughs> and I, then starts I try off, to so. join them in the singing, but they kind of 
push me away, but that's okay. <laughs> but it's a fun day for us to get together. We have a lot of volunteers come in to help us put this on. And it's a really nice way for the staff to get to mingle with the seniors that come in and just, you know, um, just share all the goodwill that we have in our community. So we really enjoy it. You also have a uh, pretty nice uh, holiday craft event going on yes. out in the main lobby. Could you tell us a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, I hope you got some footage of that that you can show. <laughs> we love our crafters group. I think we can all attest to that. And we are all wonderful customers. Yes, we are. <laughs> we Maddie is the best day. customer I these I try, days. To, I try to follow the, set the example here. But they are a group of ladies that have met here at the Senior Center for many years. Well, for, yeah, they uh, have. For a long time. Every Friday, they get together at the center. And whatever crafts they do, they just get together, have a great time socially, and make, they knit, they crochet, um, and whatever they have, they basically sell at their craft fairs throughout the year. Uh, and all the money that comes in, all the proceeds, go directly to benefit the friends of the Barnes Super Council on Aging who help us with our fundraising. And as we all know, that's going to become more and more important as, uh, as time goes on. Um, but we just can't give them enough credit for their commitment and how they've managed to sustain themselves over the years. And we really want to get the word out next year because people can come in and buy ha a hat and scarves and gloves for like $12 yeah, or $15. Beautiful work. They do beautiful work. Mm -hmm. Baby blankets yeah. and uh, handbags. Handmade. Yep. It's, everything's handmade. Um, so, and they have set themselves a goal this year, um, $3,000, and today they're very close to it, and they're hoping that today they're going to, you know, succeed and, and get, you know, get, get the goal, which will be a great, um, you know, we'll be celebrating. Mm -hmm. So I want to say thank you to all of them. If it doesn't happen today that they get to that three thousand dollars, people can still come in and yes, and purchase. Rose, you can talk about. We actually have um, glass cases where they showcase all of their their goods, um, and so someone can come in and purchase any day. Actually, and we do. We have people walk in all the time and you know come in buy a hat, a scarf, or anything they choose. And every once in a while, you can actually even custom. Um, ask yeah. them for a custom, like, oh, I want a blue, a blue scarf made, and if we're able to, you know, coordinate that for you, we can do it. And um, Debbie, who's at the reception desk, she's there, available to help you with all of that. So, anytime, walk in and check out all of the wonderful craft You work. know what it's I love really about nice. it? I feel like yeah. everything you get there is unique because you it don't is. see two of the same thing. And I think that's really just a nice thing to get as a gift and give somebody something that was not just handmade, but it was the only one. I mean, they have such a variety of colors and fabrics and everything. So I think you, it, there's something for everybody there. And we just hope, I mean, even town staff, but everybody in the community would come in and just stop by and, and uh, help support us, you know. So, yeah, thanks for bringing that up, Kevin. Um, also, you also have a lot of other, uh, like, holidays uh, events going on. Uh, yes. Could you tell us a little bit about Susan, that? Yeah, we're very fortunate. We have the um, Horace Mann Charter School 100 fourth and fifth graders. Their chorus is coming in, and they'll be singing on December 16th, so that's going to be fantastic. And then we have two students. There's a woman that um, um, comes to the senior center, Gloria LaRiviere, and she's the teacher of one of these students. So she's, uh, she's, she's showcasing them and all of her work. Uh, on Thursday, December 18th, so that that'll be at 2:30. The other will be at 1:30. So if anyone wants to call and certainly come in and see that, they're both free. It'll certainly boost your spirit for the holidays, and it'll be a lot of fun. Bring your friends and family. As far as the meeting schedule here in town, nothing tonight, but some of the highlights tomorrow are the Community Preservation Committee at 5 in the Town Hall Hearing Room, at 6 the Airport Commission at the Airport, at 6.30 the Conservation Commission in the Hearing Room, and at 7 the Barnstable Historical Commission in the School Administration Building. And don't forget you can catch some of the many meetings in town live right here on Channel 18 and the vast majority of all the sessions here in town are available on demand at the town's website town.barnstable.ma.us And congratulations to Tom Geiler, Director of Regulatory Services, for being honored with a Lifetime Achievement Award for his efforts to raise standards in the world of weights and measures. Details of the award are in the Town Manager's latest e-newsletter found on the homepage at town.barnstable.ma.us. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Kevin Friel. We'll meet you right back here tomorrow. I'm Mark Bumford. <laughs>